Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here and another Linux tutorial today. Today we are looking at how to improve font rendering on Ubuntu based distribution using the Infinality fonts. Now I will go ahead and, and say up front that Ubuntu fonts out of the box are probably one of the best if not the best out there in the Linux world. So the difference by going to the Infinality fonts on Ubuntu is not going to be say as big as when you do it in an arch based distribution or maybe Fedora or OpenSUSE or one of those uh, but there is a difference so with that being said if you're somebody that's pretty picky about having real nice looking fonts this might be something that's uh, worth looking at and and you know even if you're not too picky you know you might want to give this a try just to just to see what the difference is so to do this, I mean, real simple, we're going to open up a terminal. Now I got a drop down terminal on mine. Uh, so let me just go and I'm just going to copy and paste from my notes here. We're going to add a PPA. And don't worry, I down in the video description, I will uh, leave notes on how to do this. So we're going to add this PPA here. It'll ask for our password. Boom and hit enter again and then the sudo app get update I'll let that update we'll do sudo app get upgrade all right, do we want to upgrade? Yes. And once that's done, sudo app get install font config in finality. Let it do its thing and boom, we are done. Now what we'll do is we will reboot our system and we come back, we will have the new Infinality fonts. All right, we are back and I can already tell a difference in my font rendering. Um, to me, it's a night and day difference. Uh, let me drag over simple screen recorder here. This is the dialog box for controlling simple screen recorder and just a huge difference in that. Really, you know, I should have pulled this over here at the beginning of the video so you could see a before and after, but you, to me, the fonts are much cleaner, much much crisper, much easier to read. Um, but there's more configuration that you can do um, using the Infinality fonts. First thing you can do, let me go and drag this over here or copy this. Open up your terminal and and once again I'll put this down below so that you can copy and paste it. Um, sudo bash and then this line here it'll ask you for your password and it'll ask you to pick a style on how you want your font rendered. Um, you know, a Linux style, OS X style, Windows 7, you know, and so on and so forth. So you just pick one and uh, we'll just go with Linux and boom, it configures that for you. So you can do a little configuration that way. You can also go and with your text editor open up the actual text file that controls the settings. So sudo h, I'm using gedit for my text editor, whatever the name of the text editor that you're using, be it mousepad or whatever, just put it in right here. And then the rest of this line here, boom, opens it up. And towards the bottom, let's scroll down, we're gonna go to an area called use style. I said it's towards the bottom. There we go. Set the use style variable below uh, and um, it allows you to pick a type of rendering um, that uh, you know however whatever you want to simulate. Once again OS X, iPad, Ubuntu, Linux uh, and then the classic Infinality styles, the classic nudge, push, shove. Um, now I'm going to go with the nudge so I'm essentially just going to copy and paste uh, 
There we go. So I'm going to use the nudge style, save this, and then close it on up. Boom, ready to go. And once again, you'll need to reboot so that those changes take effect. But, uh, you know, that'll give me that type of rendering. And essentially that is it. So, uh, you know, after you get these installed, go and play around with the different styles and whatnot. See what you like and... Uh, and uh, what looks best to you because everybody's going to be a little bit different everybody's going to like something a little different so anyway that finishes this video up hope you enjoyed it as always leave comments questions all that stuff down below and i will get to it as soon as possible and once again thanks for watching the video and i hope to see you on my next tutorial thanks a lot <laughs>